This is an overview of the table feature within Extraction 2.0. In this short video, I'll go through how to add a table into your template, what it looks like for an individual study and through consensus, as well as a CSV output. If we first of all go to the template, you'll see you get the preview on the right hand side and this appears for the reviewers when they're going through extraction. It's simple to add a table. You can click on the plus icon and click table and the preview appears here on the right hand side. You can add a name for your table, add instructions to the extractors, and you can also add multiple columns and also multiple rows. You can come back at any time um, to update your template and save it as a draft and that won't show for each individual study. Once you're ready with your template you can click publish and then that'll show for each individual study. If we open the extraction form and look at the table, you can see it's easy to add information to the table. You can edit, um, add information, come back and save at any time. You can also add a comment for the consensus reviewer to look at when they're going through consensus. Once you're happy with the data, you click send for consensus. And if we begin consensus, you can see what that looks like. So each individual reviewer will have its own column. If the information differs between the two, then you'll get a decision required option. You can select any reviewer to populate the final decision or override that if needed. If we look at the tables, you'll get the number of conflicts on the right hand side. And again, you can easily see what each reviewer has inputted. Again, selecting the um, reviewer's information will populate the table. And once you're happy with that, you can click complete. Now jump into the CSV export. Once you're finished with extraction, you'll then see a row for the consensus reviewer and a row for the individual reviewers as well. Looking at a table, you'll see that you get the name of the table as a bookmark to where the table begins, and then you get a separate column for each of the cells within the table, so you can easily see what information has been inputted.